Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by today. This is Sandy from Color Creatively. And in the month of September, I'm going to be working in Creative Haven books. You can work in any Creative Haven book that you would like. I will be working in a lot from Teresa Goodridge, this particular artist, but you can work in any book and color along with me. This is my newest book, Country Christmas, so I thought I would start by doing a picture in it. Uh, I did do a flip through of this, so you might want to check out my channel. There's a little bit of glare in here today, but I can't do anything about that. So I have my color charts handy. Let me put that away. I have this book that I have my Delhi watercolors. I'm going to be using Delhi brand watercolors and these are budget friendly. I'm also going to be using the Derwent watercolors and these are this is my swatch chart of 72. And Derwent are a little more expensive. They're quality artist grade. So um, I'm looking at a note that came up on my computer. Okay, I'm going to dismiss it because I can't figure that out at the moment. Okay, um, these are artist grade and they are beautiful pencils. They're watercolor pencils. The Deli is a watercolor. I will be using Ko Enor and Harmuth. Tritone. I will leave the names below in the description so you'll know what I'm using. And I'm also going to be using my Derwent ink tints. I have the two travel sets. This is set number one. And I will be using set number two. And I've swatched them out myself. So that's the supplies I'm going to be using in this picture here. And I have tentatively, I'm not saying these are all the colors I'm going to be using. I haven't worked out the colors for the whole picture yet, but I will tentatively be using these. Let me zoom in a little so you can see the names of these. Um, and I'm going to be using a Bird Umber and a Van Dyke Brown for one horse. For the second horse, a sepia and a raw umber. That I'm pretty sure of. Down here, the Koinor are tritone. So when you color with them, uh, there's three or four, there's three colors right here in the pencil. So you have to color, turn, color, turn, and you will get all of the shades. The same with the gray one. It's called metal, and this is called earth tone. I'm going to use the metal on the stones here in the picture. Um, and on the barn, I, now I have a, a alternative here, um, instead of these coat in art, I may just go with this watercolor and use ink tints for two of the colors and the deli for the third color for the, for the barn. I'm not sure. Okay. As I go along, I'll see, I've sort of worked this out for the dog and the cat and the rabbit. Um, and this is uh, ink tense here, and these this is a Derwent French Gray. But uh, this is just a rough draft, and so when you start to color, you might just want to take a look at your picture uh, and decide what you're going to start with. Um, give yourself a starting point, because sometimes it can be overwhelming choosing colors. And you look at that and think, well, I don't know what color I'm going to make the bird or these leaves. Well, don't worry about it till you get some of the stuff done that you already have in mind. And then it will just sort of fall in place. And it will be easier to choose your colors. Okay. Um, I thought I would zoom in a little closer. And uh, that way we could start coloring. And I thought I would start with the horse. Um, let me get out the colors that I wanted here for horse number one. Burn Umber and Dan Van Dyke Brown. There's Raw Umber. They must be these two. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I never have a problem till I get on camera. Okay. Um, 
Raw Umber and Van Dyke Brown. I thought I would take the dark color, the Burnt Umber, and do the horse's body and the mane a little lighter. Uh, that's just sort of my idea. And it's watercolor. I hope you're going to color along with me. I hope you have this book. If not, you uh, if you've ordered it and haven't gotten it yet, you can always go back to my video that when you get your book and color along with me and follow in the videos that I make. I'm just going to go over this horse lightly. I do not have in mind all the colors I'm going to be using here. Now that's a drop of snow, so I don't want to color that. I want to avoid these round circles here. These are snow coming down. And there's some snow here on the door of the barn and some here on the rocks uh, and some under the plants. Uh, there might be a little snow there and there, but the rest I'm going to make gray. So... We don't have snow everywhere in this picture. And then we have to decide, I have to decide, what color do I want to make behind the horses here in the barn? But I don't know yet. So let's just start with what we know and work on that. And see, as the picture develops, uh, we look at it in a different light, and maybe tomorrow I'll look at this and be able to say, oh, I should make it that color. Um, I don't know if you're like that, but that's what sort of happens to me. I'm going to just color him in, and if I don't like it, I'm going to mix colors. I can always do that, too. And then let's go with the Van Dyke Brown on his mane. I think inside his ear, too. Oh, I didn't do his other ear here. We'll just do that. Um, we're just laying down base coats for all of you that are new. I always do a base coat of either watercolor or pastel or something. Um, and then go back and use my colored pencils to define, to shade, I use some a white paint pen to highlight and that type of thing um, that cuts down the coloring time and the white spots that show up through colored pencil. And you do not have to bear hard. So we're going to just do a little bit on this today and see how far we get. This will be part one of our color along. I'm going to get a paper towel. Oh, I have one in my lap here. I'm going to go with the dark color first, and I'm using a little bigger brush. I'm not squeezing this water brush. Oh, that was not really, that was part of the Christmas decoration. That's okay. We'll color over it. I thought this would make it a little smoother. Now, if your color is sort of uneven, don't worry about it, because as we shade, that won't even be seen or noticed. It'll actually become part of the horse, and you'll think that, that it was intended to be that way. Now, I did make a copy of this off onto mixed media paper, which can take a little bit of water. You can use your coloring book. Just uh, control the water. If you get too much, wipe it on a paper towel. If you need it a little moisture, use a baby wipe, and that's the only moisture you need other than what flows from the brush automatically. Now, some brands of water brushes will release more water than others. Different size of brush will release more water than others. So you have to experiment and find out what's going to work the best for you. Uh, now, see, I colored over the snow there. But if I use my white paint pen, I might be able to overcome that. I'm talking and I'm not watching here. Okay, let me get him colored. And if he's darker in some spots and lighter in others, that makes a more natural look. So just don't let that bother you. It doesn't have to be absolutely 
perfect. Okay, I'm um, going to go on the main now. Color that. This picture is going to have a lot of browns, but I'm going to vary the colors from different shades and tones. So it's not going to look bad at all. And hopefully our greenery and our Christmas decorations are going to really stick out more. I'm hoping. We'll see as we go along. And you may want to choose other colors. That's fine. Just color along with me. Let me know in the comments below you're coloring along. And at the end of the month, at the end of September, if you've colored things this month, uh, anything from Creative Haven books, and especially Teresa Goodridge, please, if you're a subscriber, submit them to me, and I'll put you in my video. And you'll be able to highlight your pictures and show it to other people. I want to give the subscribers of this um, channel a platform to share their work and not just have the whole channel be about me and my coloring. That's my idea and that's my reason for doing it. So um, I hope that that appeals to some of you. Okay, now let's see. The other horse I thought about making sepia and raw umber. So let me see where those colors are. Sepia, that's chocolate. Don't want that. That's somewhere later. Raw umber. Okay, I'm going to use the sepia first. And then I'm going to, now, I don't know, maybe the horses should be the opposite, the darker mane, the lighter body. Um, maybe I should vary this one, different from that one. Hmm, that's an idea. Um, okay, why don't we do that? I will go with the raw umber for the horse and the sepia for his mane. So I'm not repeating the same, or I want the colors different, and I don't want them all the same. But I just wanted two brown horses. I think horses are the most beautiful animal in the world. They're awesome, but I'm afraid of them. Um, maybe because I've never been around them very much. And when I was as a child, we went horseback riding. The horse I had was sort of a horse that might run away with you, and I was real scared. I didn't like the horse. It was not a good experience for a young child. So, and I don't live near a farm, although there are people in my town that do own horses and cows. There's still some rural land here. Okay, I'm going to go over that now with this before I color in the other. See what he looks like. Yeah, that'll be good. He'll be lighter than the, that other horse, and I think that'll look better. <clears throat> I hope you're having a good day. I hope you've had a good week. This is Thursday. And I don't know when this is actually going to post to YouTube. I'm going to try to post it today. But sometimes there's so much traffic on YouTube or with their new beta system, uh, things get frozen. So it may take a few hours and it may not get posted till tomorrow. So I'm not sure, but look for it. Um, well, you will if you've subscribed and, and you uh, will ring the bell, you'll get the notifications. Okay. Let me do sepia now. That was the darker color. And for those of you that are new, again, I want to say this is just base coats. This is not what the final product is going to look like. I have to say that every video. And for those of you that watch my videos, you probably get tired of hearing me. But every time I'm on, there are new people that have joined us. And then that will be their first question that they leave me, email me, or leave in the comments. 
So, and I, I, I welcome all questions. That actually helps me um, get inspiration for future videos. Um, I've had some questions on watercoloring and, and coloring books by beginners. And so next week, look for a video on um, a tutorial video on how to uh, do that. Um, because there's some people that were trying to use a palette like this, you know, a set where you have cakes, and they couldn't uh, get the look they were wanting. So uh, we'll go over some of the basics for beginners. It won't be for you experienced people. I know there's a lot of you out there who've got far more experience than I do and are actually experts, but this will be a video for beginners, and I'm going to label it for beginners, too. Yeah, that looks better that he's darker and he's lighter, and the mains are the opposite. That's looking better to me than if I did it the other way around. So watch for that tutorial next week. Not sure which day it will post. I'm not sure which day I'm going to be able to make it. So... Um, we'll see. Okay. I don't know if it's warm in your neck of the woods, but here it's been 101 and hot, hotter. I live in a desert, so this, although this coming week it's supposed to go down into the 90s and we're st supposed to start cooling off. And so I'm hoping September, and then by October, we're a lot cooler. Okay, where I think that one needs to be a little darker. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave it, because when we go with pencil and we shade, we want to have a, a lightness behind it. Although, something tells me I needed a little bit, a little bit darker. Just a little bit, not much. Or that maybe, I thought Van Dyke Brown was darker than that. You know, every company's colors are maybe have the same name, but they're, they come out differently. Yeah, that's a little better. Of course, they dry lighter, too. Watercolor dries lighter. So, for those of you that are new, just under, know that. So, you may have to go over something more than once if you want it darker. You can always darken, but you can't lighten. So go ahead and, and make it lighter, and then you can go ahead and make it darker. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I hope I'm not off camera. I just looked in the camera. Okay. Now, I'm going to do the base coat on the little dog. And um, uh, let's see. I thought about using ink tints here. I've got the Travel Set 1 and Travel Set 2, and I absolutely love some of the colors in here. Um, I don't know if it's in the Derwent Inktense pencils. I haven't checked that out. But, uh, okay, that goes here. Okay, so I'm going to use the Burnt Yellow Ochre and the Natural Brown. Is that what I wrote down? Yeah. Okay, we don't need that set. So this is set number one. Okay, I thought the dog should be this, and I'm going to use my dish here. Whenever I use this type of watercolor, I always put it off on my dish and dilute it a little so that I can get a more even tone. Um, I will make it a little bit darker. Now, it's a yellow ochre. Um, this is sort of, I don't know, I vision him a golden retriever. But I will use another brown to shade him so he'll look a little bit different in the end. I hope you enjoy this, that I'm featuring Creative Haven books this month, and especially Teresa Goodridge. And uh, 
this is September, October's Halloween. I'm be honest with you, I'm not really a Halloween person. Um, I have um, religious convictions about Halloween. So um, what I will be doing is um, some Halloween that pictures that I don't find offensive. Um, and I will be doing autumn pictures. I'm just not going to be doing those bloody ones, uh, horror pictures that uh, go with Halloween. Um, you know, a witch and a broomstick's okay, and the pumpkins and all of that, but um, not the bloody horror. That's the ones I really have trouble with with Halloween. And uh, I've never really celebrated Halloween. Okay. Um, I'm going to let that dry because uh, I will go over him with him with a little natural brown, or I'll do that with a pencil, probably with a pencil. Now, his face, I didn't activate it enough, did I? There you go. Sometimes if you don't activate your watercolor pencil, it looks grainy and streaky. So there we go. Maybe I missed that altogether. I don't know. Or if I did it, I didn't have enough water coming out. Okay. Um, the cat, I want to make a little dark gray, almost a black cat. I'm using ink tints again. I just put a lot of water in it, so it's coming out gray. And I'll highlight this cat with some darker color. And... I thought this was an adorable picture. There's just so many cute pictures in this country. Uh, Christmas um, by Teresa Goodridge and, and Creative Haven. Now see, there's a little darkness there compared to the other, but that's okay because we're going to be shading this cat with pencil. And you're not going to even notice that. Okay, let's take off and do my rabbits. Uh, I wanted to do them French Gray, which is my Derwent Watercolor Pencil French Gray. And it's number 70. I'm going to put my brush down. I wanted to get a video out before the weekend. Um, I try to do my videos during the week. And then uh, the weekend... Well, his tail would be white. Well, I can highlight that with some Posca pen or Sharpie paint pen. Or we'll leave it gray. Not sure. I'm not sure how we're going to do it. We're just playing it by ear as we go along. We're going to visit some friends of ours on Saturday, and I'm looking forward. My husband's going to go with me, and we're going to help set up their TV. This is the second time um, so that they can get channels. Um, something happened to their first Fire Stick and Fire or Roku, um, so now we're setting up both Fire Sticks and... The Roku's are already set up. Um, they've cut the cord from the cable and satellite, and I did mine 10 years ago. So i am <clears throat> been uh, doing that a long time and saving $150 to $160 a month, and I've been real happy about it. You know, I think um, instead of doing the Koh-i-Noor pencils after all, that I'm going to go ahead and do the barn this deli color number 56 i had to number these because there's no name or numbers on these um and this is a reddish brown and then we can always highlight with a couple other colors so i'm going to go ahead and color this in for you and then all these knots in the wood will i will go back over that with a pencil 
colored pencil or watercolor pencil and I don't want to color color in my snowflake um, I don't have my eraser handy that's okay and we will make this wood look a lot different this is sort of a redwood color I don't live on a farm, so I don't know what kind of wood they make the barns out of, but this is a color book. It doesn't have to be realistic. And you're the boss, like Dee Dee Willingham says, of your own color book. You can make it any color you want. There's no right or wrong way. And I'm just going to get that base coat down. What I'm going to do is have you do the rest of this drawing, the base coat yourself, when I stop the video. And then the next video, we're going to start the shading. And we may have to have a couple videos to do that. I'm not sure how many parts there will be, but I'll try to list that. With watercolor, you're going to be moving it around, so I don't have to be coloring, covering every single inch of the barn. And it can go pretty fast, even with pencils. I really like watercolor pencils. They're one of my favorite mediums, to tell you the truth. However, I've got a lot of palette sets of watercolor and I love all of them. I'm just excited about them. I have a lot of pastels too that I use. I love pastels. Is this the barn here or is this snow? That's probably some of that snow and this is probably the barn. Sometimes it's sort of hard to tell uh, how an artist draws something. And sometimes they leave out lines and I draw it in. You can do anything you want. Um, you can draw in backgrounds. You can do what I do, use pastels and watercolor and stencils and different things to heighten or accentuate the background. Okay, is there wood here? Yeah, there's wood there. There's wood here. Uh, I think I don't need to color that because that's the Christmas decoration there. We're doing Christmas in September, folks. I hope that's okay with you. In December, I will be doing Christmas, but I also want to be doing some dragons. So if you've got any dragon books for December, get them out. Is that wood or is that the decoration? I'm going to leave it because I'm not sure. And sometimes as you color other things in, you'll be able to tell what it is. So I will be doing Christmas in December, but I'm also going to do dragons. And next month will be some Halloween. Not the bloody one, but just regular Halloween. And, you know, a witch and her broomstick and that kind of thing. Pumpkins and autumn scenes. So get yours out. Get ready. I will be doing a video each month of pictures colored by you. Now that's going to be metal there, so it's going to be a different uh, color. Okay, let's go here a little. I want to just finish this barn today, and then I want you to finish up to this point. Actually, we could, you can go ahead and color. I may off-camera color more I might not I probably won't I will do a lot of the shading off camera but I'm going to do probably the base coats more on camera because that's what people have requested to see 
Um, and okay, here we go. This is now see there's a line. Here's part of the wood and here is part of the wood. And this comes down, it should come down like that, and it doesn't. So I'm going to leave that because I have a permanent waterproof pen that makes a very fine line, and I'm going to come down and put it there and then finish coloring that part in. Okay. Let's just, let's see, is this metal here? That's brown there. I have to look at it. Yeah, I'm going to make that metal. Not this part, though. That's part of the wood. That's metal and that's metal. It's the hinges of the door here for the horses. I love country pictures. I love country books. I love I have a magazine, country magazine, that I think is, I'll see now, I went over my, that's okay, I went over my snowflake, or my snowdrop, I have to whiten those, and I will do that. So we're going to finish this, and then we'll call this part one. I will be back Monday with part two. And we'll see how far we get. There's going to be a lot of shading because there's a lot of detail in this picture here. I hope that's not my husband back. I think it is. He's going to come in and make noise. I'm sorry. I'm home alone. So hopefully it won't be too bad. I didn't expect him for another hour. So anyway, I just want you to work on your pictures. I will be working on this one. We'll be coloring together. And then um, we'll see each other's work at the end of the month. That's the exciting part to me. So. I just want to finish getting this done here, and then we're going to call this video complete. Time flies when you're having fun, and when you get on here to color, it seems like it just whizzes by. So... It's, it's just unbelievable. Okay, we're almost done with this. This is going to be a very, very cute picture. Or it is a cute picture. It's going to be prettier when it's colored in. And um, yeah, that's right here, part of the barn. Okay. We're going to color that in. I want to just get the water on it and get it activated for this video. And then I'll be done. We have to let it dry and see where we're at. See if we made it dark enough or not. And uh, I don't know about you, but I like Christmas. I like the Christmas scenes and the Christmas carols and the Christmas decorations and all of that. That is part of the barn, too. I wasn't sure. So we're almost finished, and then... I'm going to let you on your own to do your base coats and to finish up maybe the ground if you'd like to do it. Anything. You can even go ahead and finish the whole picture. But I will be having more Creative Haven pictures and color alongs this month. 
for the people that like that book, like those books, and especially for those of you who have told me you're fans of Teresa Goodridge's, I know I am. Oh, she has four books out this year, um, I found out, and, but they're not released yet. So it's going to be four books from her this year, and I um, have them on um, order with Amazon, so when they're released, I will receive them. I don't want to get my snowflake colored. Okay, I have to finish that by making a line there. Okay, I just wanted to stop by, start this as part one of Country Christmas with Teresa Goodridge. So, continue on your picture, do your base coat. If you get this far, that's fine. If not, if you want to go ahead, go ahead. But I will see how far I get before I see, oh, I forgot the board down there. Uh, before I see you again, um, and we'll work on it again. So, just want to say thank you for stopping by, and until we meet again, happy coloring.